So now we're in the village Minlandu. Huh? Minlandu village. With a population of 500 people consisting of 120 core families. Wow. 120 core families and the children all go to the same primary school, one primary school each in the village. Then when they graduate, they move on to middle school and high school in another village. So a couple villages share one high school. Wow. And they make their income here by growing sesame and peanuts. Sesame and peanut farmers. And then they take their crops to the market. They take their crops to the market and then they trade it for rice because the rice is grown in the southern part of Myanmar called the Ayurwadi. The Ayurwadi region is where the rice can be grown because here, up here in Bagan, it gets too hot in the summer. It's 45 degrees Celsius. And the land is quite dry. Yeah, it's too dry. It's too hot and dry in the summers. So, yeah, so their crop season, their agrarian season is is shortened. It's not a typical year. It's not like a, a full year where they harvest things in the fall and then in the winter they hibernate and then in the spring they grow. No, they probably have like a what like a six month six month season. It's a shortened season. Four month season. Wow. So really this place is uh it's really authentic. Wow. And they've only received electricity about two years ago. Wow, because it's expensive for them. Wow, to get to get set up, to get the electricity installed, they have to pay a hundred US dollars. About hundred dollars. A hundred US dollars just to get the electricity installed. And then they get these primitive, very primitive TVs. Yeah. So they don't have advanced, they don't have advanced technology. Wow, and then they pay a, an annual or like a monthly fee to maintain the electricity. Yeah, they, they use, you know, unique. They use the electricity, wow. But the reason we're sitting in this hut, and it's like probably 30 degrees Celsius outside, but we feel really cool under this shade, and that's because the huts are made of palm leaves. Palm wood and palm leaves, thatched palm leaves. And the palm leaves can absorb the heat rays of the sun, completely absorbing them such that the heat waves don't seep through the thatched roof of the hut. So it's just really nice and cool in here, which is relaxing. Wow, looking at their way of life. Wow. It's so interesting. But the kids in this school, they all learn the national Burmese language. So they learn the same Burmese language in the school. But um, they probably speak like their own unique dialect amongst the families. So at home, when they speak to their parents, they speak the dialect. Special dialect. Mm. Minlandu village. Wow, so just uh, examining just taking a look at the way of life in the village it just seems really really it just seems really really relaxed wow it's so relaxed mm, in the Minlandu village so how far is this village from the next village oh uh, very close uh, the next village is about uh, three or four minutes drive from here Oh, so they're very close. Yeah, very close. Oh, and then you can walk for where five do they or where do they minutes. go to the markets to trade for rice? Nyong-u. Yeah. Oh, so they have to go to yes. Nyong U. And Nyong U was founded centuries and centuries ago. Yeah. Yeah, but now Nyong U has become a town. It's not a village anymore. Yeah. It has like up to two hundred thousand people. That's the market we visited yesterday. The Nyong U market, the yes. first part of our visit around Bagan. Yes. And that's where they sell all the fruits and vegetables and rice and aubergines and yeah, or from eggs, the farm, from the village, dried yeah. fish from the, the village. From the river. So how do they? What's their? What's their way of you know their their culinary way of life? Do they only eat vegetables in this village? No, um, it depends on their income. 
you know, some people their daily incomes wages is very low, low pay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's why they cannot have meat every day. Yep, they don't so have meat every day. So that's why they like a vegetarian. No, they are not vegetarian, but they can afford to eat meat every day. Mingala ba? And uh, that's why they, are, you know, like vegetarian. They have meat, dry fish, or now chicken or fish. Uh, you know, twice a week or three times a week or four mm. times. It depends on the family. Yeah. Wow. So they only eat meat three or four times a week. Yeah. Most of the time, they have a vegetarian a lifestyle. Vegetarian. Yeah. A vegan lifestyle. Do they eat eggs? Yeah, eggs is very popular in there. So they're yes. not vegan; they're just vegetarian. Oh. So is that why everybody here is so skinny? Oh, I noticed the people in the villages. They're very, very light. Yeah. Very light, but very strong. Wow. Very strong. Hmm. So where do they obtain their water to drink? They have the, you know, the well. From oh, they have wells. So, okay, so they just they, they just dig up the well. First, they have the lake there, and they, you know, that's yeah. A they rain. irrigate. They irrigate. Yes. Yep. From the rain season. Wow. And they have basin there. The water come to the basin and keep keep mm. for the whole years. Wow. But nowadays they have the well. So they from the other country, other yes, from the state, from the from our country and then mm -hmm. they use the, the water from the well wow they go and get it and that's not free they have to pay for that oh so they have to pay for the irrigation yeah, for the, yeah. so they pay for the irrigation and they pay for the electricity yeah. they pay for the irrigation they pay for the electricity wow so those are their two main expenses oh not much not much they not don't have uh, many yeah. expenses yeah. They just pay, pay for the, they just pay, yeah. they just pay for their, they pay for their um, water, they pay for their electricity, and that's it. Yeah. Everything else they make for themselves. Yeah, no wow, look at this. Really amazing. Wow. Me by Minlan Minlandu village. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Then let's go. Oh, are we done? Yeah, you finish if you finish. Yeah, okay. Then we go to the next. Oh, we're going to another village. No, no, no. Next house. Oh, another house. Another house. Oh. No problem. We go around the village and we go and visit the other houses. Okay. We're off to another house now.